So Matt, how do I start it? What do you do? You go to first phase? Yeah, Mark, just turn the key to on, like you would in a normal car. It comes back to 2000. Now you can crank it. Taco comes up to 4000. You're ready to go. Fantastic. Now the model that you've got now is a Calais replacement, isn't it, in terms That's of the right. specification of the car? Yeah, the ca car is, uh, starts out life as a Calais. We re removed the V6 engine, the transmission, the exhaust, the fuel system, and replace it with our full EV drivetrain. In terms of customer experience, I mean, getting in and driving straight away, I mean, it feels like a normal Commodore with slightly heavy steering. I mean, it's just a, I mean, it's just as you would expect almost. That's the intention. We want people to understand that this is just a standard Commodore. It just happens to be the electric Commodore. For me, one of the things straight away is the non-audible nature of it is quite strange and, and I mean, it feels really nice in terms of the um, smoothness and the, and the responsiveness. Um, I'm interested in terms of um, you driving it all the time, how long it takes to get used to that. I mean, it must be for all the miles that you've done in the cars. Um, are you used to that yet? It's a little unusual at the traffic lights, only being able to hear the other cars yeah. and thinking you've forgotten to turn your engine off. <laughs> so of all the things dynamically, I like the, the feel, the response based on the way that the torque of the engine is so uh, simultaneous. It's just so, um, the reaction and the spontaneity of that is very, very good. But one of the things that, that for me still is, uh, is, is a little strange is that you've capped the performance of this at 135 kilometers an hour, is that right? Yeah, that's the limitation of the electric motor. So it's a right. direct drive, seven to one gearbox driving to the back wheels, uh, single speed, yep. so permanently connected. In theory, we could do 135 kilometers an hour in reverse, but we don't. Uh, do you want to have a go at that? <laughs> it's software <laughs> limited to 50 kilometers an hour. Okay. Yeah, we thought 50 would be plenty. Let's have a crack at 0 to 100. That's full torque. That's where it really goes best, about 40 to 45 k's when it starts to really get motivated. And that's 100 k there. It's actually quite good. 8.3 seconds is the target we're going for, which is the equivalent of the 3 litre V6 Commodore. And we are right on it. Right. Through that sort of fast left and right down here, coming off the throttle, you're actually regenerating in that phase. Well, we are. You're also wasting power because you're using you the brakes. Use the brake. yeah, don't do you use wanna... the brakes. Okay. I'll, I'll teach you how to drive <laughs> if you like, but just don't use the brakes. So the amount of regen, we call it, yeah. in the car in normal drive mode is equivalent, equivalent of driving a car in maybe fourth gear, maybe fifth gear in right. a manual. Okay. If we switch it over to sports mode, it'll be more like third gear. Right. So we get a little bit more engine braking, yep. which is actually recharging our battery. So I'm going to put this in the maximum regen braking, and Matt told me that you don't that you don't have to brake. So you don't brake? Is that what you yeah, do? No, don't, don't, don't brake. Don't brake. Don't don't brake. Yeah. No, no, good policy. <laughs> okay, a little bit of brake. A little bit of brake. <laughs> yeah. It feels very Commodore-like, and and uh, for the car to be slightly heavier than a normal Commodore, it doesn't actually feel like it because the weight is so low in the car. So in terms of the weight positioning, it's been quite clever from an engineering standpoint to make sure the weight's as low as it can be. The ride and the vibration and the feel of the car is very, very smooth and very, very nice. It's obviously a, an audible thing that you've got to get used to, not having a normal engine note. But uh, overall, in terms of the way that the car drives and feels is absolutely beautiful.